Hi there everybody, back again with some more Minecraft and uh, today, well, I've been doing a little work around the Flower Valley here. Uh, one of the things I've been doing is I've been putting up the rest of these um, apiaries because, as you remember, I had quite a few in this chest that was ready to be put up, but I didn't really have decided where I wanted to put them yet, but uh, I've sort of like put them all over really. There's a couple up here, one there, one here, which you can't get on top of, another one over here. I think there's one more over here. Whoops, if I can get around the tree, of course. Yeah, there. And then there's also one, like, all the way over there, if you can see it in the distance. See, I have uh, put up a flower pad over here as well. And that's in uh, preparation for the uh, flower farm, just to make sure that uh, flower spawning worked properly because I'm like right on the border between two biomes. Now, it shouldn't really matter because uh, if you look in the F3 menu, there it says that it's in, um, in Swampland all the time. Well here, but still, just before I started building, I wanted to make completely sure. So uh, here we are, and it looks uh, pretty well covered in orchids so there should be no trouble the only trouble that might be is the distance to the house but we'll have to see how that works and uh, nothing really other than testing it that i can do there but if it comes to being a problem i can always like do an afk chamber something like in the water or something so not a huge issue um but other than that uh well been doing a few other things. I put up all the melons up there, as you can see. So that tree and that tree there now only needs the um, the vines, and I need to connect, con connect, collect some first. But uh, those are well underway. And then, other than that, um, I finally went ahead and fixed all my letter banners. If you remember, I made some letters back in the wonky 1.8 and they were sort of screwy because you couldn't get the border around it. And uh, some layers were wrongly ordered, so for instance the Y looked like a trident or a fork. But now we have them and uh, they're finished. And if anyone wants to get like how to make the letters well you can just come over here and have a look or ask me and well I can let you know but uh, what we're actually going to be doing today has nothing to do with all these things those are just updates it has something to do with what's in this chest but we won't look at that yet because we're going out here first though we have a couple of people here that needs a little food here piggy and Hi on. Hi kitty. <laughs> and then we just have three more to visit. And luckily they're on the way. You can see here I uh, have been harvesting my resources here. So that's all pretty much done. Here they are Ranger, Elfie and Boobies. <laughs> Uh, you three, you three have a good time. Um, and we are going over here actually, because if we jump in the water here, you can see something has appeared behind this wall. A door. But where does it lead? Well, I did a little bit of preparatory work. Um, probably going to be building like a bridge around here to connect to there so that you can get around. Sort of like a circular half bridge, something like that, but uh, I'll figure that out. But for now, doorway, and behind door number one is a hole. So uh, obviously I've done a little bit of planning here. Ooh, spooky noise. I've been doing a little planning here, of course, as you can see. Uh, this should be fairly obvious. <laughs> um, so today we are going to be building this room and the reason why I've been doing the planning like this is because I wanted to make sure that I actually had space for it because well the dogs are right out there you can hear them so they're within 16 blocks so I just wanted to make sure that this place could be here and I also wanted to come up with a design I liked 
as well as a design that is expandable. Um, and this one is expandable both in the various directions here, not so much in that direction and by extension in that direction, but it could potentially be extended in this direction, or there could be made a stairway down here to another level below. But anyways, let's uh, get started with what we're going to be building here. Because in here we have some resources prepared. And the first bit we're going to be using is jack-o'-lanterns and birchwood. So, let's see. We need to have some birchwood in each of these holes. And that's uh, simply a sort of background. So, let's fill those in real quick. Just like that. You can see it's a sort of a repetitive design. That is uh, because of the thing that I want to build here. So let's see, like this. There we go. I hope that you can follow in case you want to ever use sort of a like inspired design of this. But uh, I'm going to try. Then we take out all of these. They're just here to make sure that mobs wouldn't spawn in here. Because we're going to be using jack-o'-lanterns instead. And I hope that I have enough here, but uh, we'll have to see. Otherwise I'll have to fetch a couple more. But uh, yeah, we're going to be putting these in. Uh, let's do it in one direction. So we do that. Sort of doing what I've been doing other places where I'm doing sort of like a random pattern. Here, and finally, the last direction here, we just fill in the last of the holes. And I think that uh, we're going to be needing a few more of these, but... Uh, Let's continue with the next bit first. So let's put these back in here, the birch wood. And let's grab some of the spruce wood. Get some of the spruce wood here. And yeah, get some oak wood as well. And what we're going to be doing then is uh, these bits here. Oops, this goes away. This one not. I believe it was like this that I was planning. So we're sort of lining this. We need more. So like that. So well, while we're working on this, um, let's talk a little about what has been going on. Well, as I talked about last week, I was going to go and watch the uh, movie The Danish Girl, uh, which is about, I remember her name now, Lily Elbe, the first um, transgender person to actually get treatment in a time where asking for that sort of stuff or even talking about this sort of stuff would uh, probably get you locked in an insane asylum so yeah that was a really like heavy movie um, I actually spend a lot of the movie crying <laughs> I, I am a little bit of a sob probably so it might not be an indication for everyone it might also be because I sort of share many of the uh, well, experiences, except, uh, well, nowadays you're not, like, taken as a lunatic. Like, it's still considered a me mental Ill illness in many places, including Denmark. But, um, still, it's better now. It doesn't end your life. But, uh, yeah, with that, um, it was a really good movie. Um, I quite enjoyed it. And uh, as it turns out, my boss actually went to watch it as well. So he actually approached me yesterday, 
just as I was out on my way out the door at work and started talking about this movie. Have you seen this movie? And sort of like all of a sudden, like you understand a little more about what you're going through. Like if you're curious about the whole thing, I suggest that you go watch it because it is actually quite um, topical in that sort of sense. Um, let's pull out the leaves here and cover the floor so we don't have to jump around. So let's do... that so yeah that was um, a little bit of a strange experience to suddenly have your boss come up and talk like that but uh, not unwelcome I guess There we go. Uh, there's a little more here to do. That and that and acacia there. So there we go. That is the leaves on the floor done. And that's to make sure that the room in here is lit. So with that we could probably take off the lighting in the sides actually. But uh, we're going to leave that until we do the rest of the lamps. And I think we should do that next. So I am going to fetch a couple more lanterns, so be right back with you in just a second. Bye bye! And here we are back again, and uh, yeah, I have the lamps, or rather pumpkins, so now we can make the lamps. So let's see here, uh, two wood, sticks. So um, my boss actually told me one thing that was a little interesting, and that is. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the story, um, this woman Lily Elbe, uh, before she like cured herself with the doctor's help, she um, had the um, what is it called? She had a wife. Like her life changed completely afterwards, and she like pretty much sought a new life with new people, but. Uh, like she couldn't be the same person because she had always been the husband for her wife and all of a sudden she was not the same person, that person was dead and that was very hard. Um, but like uh, her wife, well she um, was an artist, well they're both artists, but uh, her wife could never really get traction. Like prior to her change, uh, Lily was um, like a landscape artist, but after changing she stopped doing art completely. Um, and her wife on the other hand, she was a portrait painter, but her portraits never really got popular. Until she one day out of fun and it was sort of the thing that sparked this whole thing modeled uh, or had Lily model for her and drew her in a dress drew her as a female so all of a sudden you have these many many portraits of Lily like popping up and that's that's a little odd <laughs> To say the least, uh, let's see, four, five, six, and seven, I believe it is, we need. Um, and my boss actually told me that he was uh, going with his wife to see, um, what is it called, uh, an exhibit where Lily's wife's paintings are actually like put up. They have apparently collected all her paintings and are now showing them off. That's pretty cool. 
Okay, so now we need to add these stairs in. And we need to put them here, 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 and here. And then we need to actually we probably need to do that the other way around, otherwise we can't get into the corner. So let's just do that. It's a little tricky to put these in because we need them to face the exactly wrong direction for anything that's easy. So we need to do like this. And then we can go over here and do that. So we get this sort of corner bit because then we get the full face on both sides here. So this one here, do the same. A little tough to do, but it's possible. If you're not familiar with how stairs work, if you have a stair that's facing this direction and one there, it goes like that. But that actually means that even though this is a collision box item, you can't actually click that, as you can see here. But I can click this face here to put the stair there. If I took this away, for instance, it's because this one here actually doesn't exist. It's purely cosmetic. So, uh, yeah, that uh, makes it easier to place stairs. Also, like, stairs will always face towards you, so you need to, like, do that sort of thing. Similarly here, I believe, if we do... No, that does not... That does actually work. We can do that. So it's just the other one that's a little bit funky, and that can cheat when you're trying to do a roof, of course, but, uh... Ah, you can manage. Knowledge is power and all that. Okay, let's do that. And then finally over here, so like that, so now we have that corner. And we're going to be doing that for every corner. So let's just get started. And of course the outside here is not going to be seen because it's underground, so that helps. But the reason why we're doing it is because uh, things that inter interact with walls like um, iron fence and like um, what is it called um, like regular fence that uh, that won't interact with the stair so we can sort of control the look of things we want by strategically hiding stairs around um, okay so here we need to have as well boop and Oops, and there we go. And then over here. Uh, yeah, it is right. So like that and like that. Then we need to go in and fill some stuff in here. Because here, full block. And we need there as well. Uh, oh. Pretty much just go along here and add the um, the full birch blocks. And I can't remember what we're doing here quite yet, but we will get to that. I think we're just putting like a block of uh, dark oak. But uh, we'll figure that out. I have some screenshots that are telling me what I am supposed to do. So, like that. Basically, I just. I don't find it particularly interesting to like go around and dig a hole for an episode. It's not something that I regard as good content. Like you can do it if you're good at talking, but um, it depends on you having actual topics. And if you don't have topics, it's just going to be incredibly boring. Like generally, I run by the rule of if you are bored doing something, then you can be damn sure your audience is probably bored as well because you're probably going to communicate that boredom to them so yeah don't see that as something you should really do but uh, yeah whatever okay like that and then we need to put in some dark oak and I need probably to have some more let's take two stacks just to be sure so we're putting dark oak underneath here We can remove these now, we don't need those anymore for light. So 
like that. Then we need here and here. They need to be darker. Put it darker in each of these. And now you can see here we have five openings here in each of these. So that's 15. And here we have eight. So that would be 23. So we need 23 chests. Let's grab some spruce wood so we can make some. So we do 23. So that is the double. Like that. Grab that. Uh, let's just do let's just do that. It's easier. Like that. Should be enough. And then we can put these in. So we have a chest in each of these. So like that. There we go. That's all the chests in. Let's finish these off. As with all my other builds in the Flower Valley, this needs a little bit of dark oak. <laughs> Surprising how much you can need. So like that. Um, and then I believe the next bit that would be smart to do would be some more birch. Then we need that. I made a little too many there, but it doesn't really matter. Because now we're going to do that so that you can actually like access the chest underneath. And I haven't yet decided if I want to make it so that there's actually light down there. So you can see the chest or if I want it dark. For now I'm keeping it dark. But if I wanted light down there I could simply just put a lamp below the chest. And if I don't want to be able to see the lamp at all put it one layer below. And then do like leaves on top or something. But uh, for now this is going to work. So we do this, Just finishes the last ones, there we go, okay, uh, what do we need now, let me just change my screenshot here for a moment, okay, so now we actually need to have these, because we are going to be putting in some fences, of course can't do that there, so Let's just do it like this. And we're going to be putting leaves in those so the, what is it called, um, the fences won't connect. And now you can actually see why we did the stair, because this one here will not connect to this wall. So that's the whole idea of it, trying to control how things look. Let's just finish these off. I need the last fences as well, actually. It's uh, quickly running a little low. So like that. Over here. get the last ones in and run out right before we're done just as usual but luckily I have more so and now that that is done we can go to the next bit of it and the next bit of it is these here I'm gonna wait with these in the center whoops come back to me but the others here we can put in 
And now you see like these here, those are backgrounds to the leaves because you can see through leaves so you don't want to be able to see the stone through them. So just fill the rest of these in. Like that. There we go. So that's those. And then we can do a little bit of other work. Let's see, we need to have the acacia now, so we need these. Well, it wouldn't surprise me if we need more, so let's grab that. Uh, let's just bring the stairs as well. Well, we are going to be needing more, but uh, yeah. So we're going to be needing one of these on each. Whoops. that. See already now we're running a little low on them. Bah. Bah. Grab that. Let's just make a few more. like that and then we can put in some blocks let's make some more right away okay so there we go and that goes up one more like that um, and I think over here as well Let me just check that real quick. Uh, let's see. Yes, that is correct. This one up here. I think this one as well. Like the roof is a little difficult to see in the screenshots because, well, it's sort of like a mix of stair and full block, and because of that. Um, there's some of it that you can't really see all that well because it's hidden behind so it's a little bit of uh, remembering what I actually did but the design is fairly simple to follow it's just like remembering that's the issue so go over here finish this off as well eh. like that So like this and then what we need is to bring the dark oak in and I think we need more than what we have so let's grab some more and then we are going to be bringing this in we bring it all the way up to this bit here so like that so now it's aligned with that and we're doing that for each side so it is going on the level if you see there below there so that would be this level here so do that and we need a couple more there we are finish it on the other sides now that should be it and over here uh, one more there we are <coughs> so with that we can now put in the rest of these Putting in that, uh, this one here goes all the way up, I believe. So like this. Like 
like that. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. So uh, let's have a look at the remainder of the roof here. Let's see, let's see this one here. So this one here needs to be oak because we're following the same design as the wall and then we're doing a stair here so that covers that and then for the other bits here we're doing stair, stair, stair stair so like that and we're then repeating the design for each of these but I can see already now we're gonna need more so let's make more significant amount more probably not going to be enough but let's start so there we go do it for the other ones as well see that's why this one was placed there, is that it fits with this. So like that. Do it for the other ones over here. Oops. And go over here. There we go. Okay. Now that that is done, um, let me just see here. Just need to grab the right one. Because I just needed to make sure what was going in this corner. Putting dark oak in those corners. Was expecting that, but uh, yeah couldn't quite remember just wanted to make sure okay and then what um, let's see let's see let's see uh, da, da, da. we are doing we are doing what we are doing the center so let's see here this one here a little difficult to see it in the screenshots. Let's see, let's see. Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, yep, actually. This one here tells me that this one is a half slab. So like that and then we need according to this one we need to have stairs here and that goes all the way up to the top there we are and um, I believe that the top of there is going to be filled in with acacia, but we'll pillar up and do that in just a moment. First, we're finishing up these. It's like probably the most difficult bit of it is just tying everything in together in the center. It's like really like compressed, so. Okay. So with that, we now need to do this, and it just follows the same thing as before, where we have the uh, the blocks going up, except that these go higher because they need to cover from the side of this. So let's pull out more wood here. That's what she said. Um, so before we would do one up, out, up, but now we're doing two. And then over here, finish this off. 
like that. Oh, out of stairs. Let's just make a few more. Okay, there. Let me see. This one goes there. This one goes there. And then all of these. Placing those. So those are sort of holding up the beam. And then we have the roof in between going up. Same we do over here. Okay. Uh, over here those make a couple more of them there we are there we are and there we are that's two of the four sides done Like that. Sorry if you can hear them out in the hallway that someone is coming in through the door and slamming it just to be nice. That's just the problem with living in an apartment building. all of them. So now we have that done. Now we then do need to finish the centre bit here. And let me just find the right screenshot again. Um, so let's see here. Oh yeah, we're needing one more here. Is that done all of them? I think so, yes. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're putting stairs here, stairs here. So just like pulling the um, the roof out like that. I was actually considering like doing something on top here so that I could like have an enchanting table up there, but. Um, I haven't quite decided if I wanted that yet, but like what I would do is probably bring down this like this uh, plus sign here a little more and then like make in the center um, like the bottom of the uh, enchanting table because that is completely flush with the ground uh, visible through it and then have the book uh, bookshelves like on top but um, yeah I'm not sure that I will do that but it's a possibility for a place to put the enchanting table when I finally decide where to actually put it. Um, but not too important right now. Right now we're just finishing off the room. So now as all that is done, we need a few more slabs. And we're just finishing that like that. Now other people would probably do like uh, these corners, like that. But I actually think that it looks better to do it like that because you get a little more detail into it in my eyes at least might just be my insanity speaking but to me this just looks better so that's what i'm going to go for but you could do the other two if you want that and now we're going to be needing something to pull up with so there we go Ooh, there's a zombie somewhere must be night time outside like that and then all we're doing here is we're finishing these off and of course we are out so let's hop down to where we can reach the chest oh yeah 
We have a block on top, so we can't open it. Uh, shift jump, please. And a zone. Whoop, whoop. Quiet zombie. I'm trying to work here. So there we are. That's the roof there finished. And now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be finishing the corners, we're going to be putting in the leaves, we're going to be finishing in those corners, and then we're going to be doing these here. Because we're still needing a, one more thing in that area. Um, I can see that I'm actually missing something. Something that I didn't quite expect. But I will uh, go and fetch that in a little bit. First, let's do the let's do the leaves. I think get that done. So let's do jungle, 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 jungle. Like I like the mix of different textures that it gives of using different leaves, so that's why I'm doing this. But really, you could use one type of leaf, or you could go for another type that is evergreen, if you want that sort of thing. But I just want this. Shush cave. So there we go. As you see, I favor the jungle leaves a little more, but uh, yeah, I'll try to keep it sort of even, but... Not too too important right here, but as you can see here, we get this whole effect again where it doesn't connect. So now that is done. Then what we need to do is we need to finish off the corners and these here. Um, but to do that, we're going to need one little thing more. So I will be right back with you when I have collected it. Be right back. Bye. -bye. And here we are back again. And uh, well, I have the things that we need, which is coarse dirt. Because that goes in these corners. I could use other dirt as well, of course. Uh, if I had unlimited pots, I'd probably use that, but I don't. So we're going to be using coarse dirt, at least for now. Do you like that? And like that. I guess still wish that you could get pots all to like, spread. As it is right now, like it's just a little dumb but like what I wanted them to do is have like under a natural spruce tree have pots of form on bare dirt or even on grass so that um, like you wouldn't just get it by putting up a bunch of leaf in the roof but you actually need to have an untouched spruce tree so you can't just farm them all that easy but uh, yeah that's probably semi-wishful thinking. So we're going to be needing these now and then we're going to be needing these and we're going to be needing the flowers and you might be able to guess what we're doing here. Uh, just make sure that I have the corners completely right. So let's take these fellas out. this one and this one then we're putting bookshelves here and finally there half slabs half slabs half slabs and over by the entrance way we also need a couple because we're putting some there then we need the flowers because we need pots here I'm just using pink flowers in here because I really like pink but uh, potentially I could mix it up with other colors as well but I just want my pink so that's what we're going for in here just pure pink 
here. And finally over here. So like that. And then what we need is just one more thing and then we are ready to put this place into use. And the thing that we need is signs. I don't have quite enough made, so we're going to be making a couple more. Uh, like that. See how many that gives us. Just enough. That is good. Because we're going to be putting a sign on each of these. like that and then this place is almost done we need to put in something here and then we're ready so the next thing we're doing is that exact thing um, let's see what we need here I think we just need oak stairs to do it actually uh, no we do need oak slabs as well so like that and what we're doing here is um, we're going here, facing away from the pillar, like that. And then we are doing... Um, out like that, just so that we can place one on the bottom there. And then there. So we have sort of like a snaky design. And what we're doing then is we're doing the this way and then one this way so we have that design and then we're finishing it up with a cap so again facing away then out one just so we have something to place on place at the bottom place at the bottom like that then you can do the top and you can do the bottom Oh, that was the wrong way. Facing towards the pillar. Like that. And we're going to be doing that for each of them. So let's just streamline it by doing that. Like that. Placing them all at once, like this. Place at bottom, 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 but, but, and bottom. Take these away. Almost done. Okay, and then we needed the top, so we need to put one in. just almost out of reach, but we're there. And the last one there and then we do that and the last one here close these off and we have the artist in so there we go now there's just one last thing to do and that is to put this place into use so I'm gonna fetch something and I'll be right back with you Bye -bye. And here we are back again, and we have the things, an armor stand, and some item frames. Now you might be able to guess what this is. 
Now the important thing is here, if we place an item frame, we can't place an armor stand, but if you place an armor stand, you can place the item frames behind it. So that gives a very compressed look. And what we're doing now is we're taking our pointy stick, putting that in the item frame, our pew pew, putting that there, and then we are going to be putting, not on, but down here, our ear warmers, our woolly jumper, our thermal leggings, and our Ugg boots. Because this is items that was given to me by Pygon back when it was time to fight the Wither on the server. And this is what this room is for. This room is an artifact room. You can see that I'm missing a little bit there. Let's just fix that. Grab those. An artifact room where I can store all the various bits and bobs that I have collected over the time. And that is exactly the sort of thing that I had in the chest. I collected, collected various artifacts, both silly things like the uh, the butt beads that uh, some of the guys was making for the um, Fisting Friday, or the Thors, or <laughs> whatever, uh, the iron sword that, uh, random, um, that Random gave me. But yeah, the first thing in here I want it to be this. The Wither Fight Armor from Pygon. And with that, we're going to be calling it off for this episode. I hope that you enjoyed it, even though it was a little long. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this little introduction into a change to the place. A new addition. And now a place where I can put all my valuable junk. Hopefully no one will take it, but uh, hey, if you don't display it, then what's the reason to have it? So, <laughs> well... Anyways, thank you very much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you again next week. Bye-bye for now. Bye!